Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my autumn winter fragrance recommendations for you all. I've never done one of these types of videos before, but I've got such a huge perfume collection, I thought why not go through it and share with you my favourites for autumn winter. These are in no particular order, but I'm going to start with Hugo Boss Orange Sunset, and as you can see, I've used a lot of this one already. It comes to about here, I'm not sure how well you can see it on camera. Although I guess it's a typical summer fragrance, I think it's also perfect for transitioning into autumn, because although it is a fresh and fruity fragrance, which by the way is my favourite type of fragrance, it does also have vanilla and sandalwood base notes which makes it slightly woody and therefore perfect for transitioning into autumn. You could wear this during the day but also at night. I think it is quite a versatile fragrance and I know it's a favourite with a lot of people but Hugo Boss have such a wide range of perfumes and this one in particular is just one of my favourites. I'm going to try not to spray any of these because for some reason when I spray perfume immediately afterwards I sneeze like a couple times. I don't know why it happens with every single perfume so I'm going to try not to spray anything so hopefully I don't sneeze. But this is a fragrance you could definitely wear all year round but I just think it's it's really nice to transition into the colder months with something that is still a little bit fresh, a little bit fruity and a little bit summery because I don't know about you but I actually love the summer but I also love autumn too so I don't want to just drastically change from one scent to another but I think this is ideal for that transitional period. So this is my first favourite for autumn winter. The next fragrance is probably my favourite out of all of these and this is the Roger and Gallet Magnolia Foley. I think I'm saying that right. I was actually gifted this through a PR agency so nothing to do with Roger and Gallet direct but through an agency and honestly I absolutely felt in love with this fragrance as soon as I first used it. Whenever I wear this fragrance I seem to get the most compliments and I can definitely tell why because it is such a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. As you can see I haven't used too much and I tell you why I haven't used too much. We all have our own like favourite fragrances and ones that we use for special occasions. Now this one I try to keep for special occasions because I love it so much. I could definitely wear it as an everyday perfume but I don't necessarily want it to be my everyday fragrance because I love it so much that I want it to be more special if that makes sense. It has an initial orange flower smell but also woody and spicy notes but it's also slightly floral as well. It's just got a bit of everything. It is really such a beautiful fragrance. Like I say you could spray this and it would last all day and I guarantee if you wear this you will get compliments and people asking you what fragrance it is because I definitely have done and it's such a gorgeous smell. I just love wearing this one. So although I was gifted this before I would 100% go out and buy this myself. It is absolutely stunning. I feel like it's one of those fragrances that you could take a risk and buy it for somebody as a gift because it is is such a beautiful smell. I just wish you could smell through the screen how good this actually is. My next perfume recommendation for autumn winter is this one by Lancome. It is La Vie et Belle. If you've seen my what I got for my birthday video then you'll know that I actually got given this for my birthday this year. So as you can see I haven't used an awful lot just yet. Oh my god look at my face through the bottle. <laughs> But when I smelt it for the first time, I knew it was going to be perfect for this time of year. It has very warm base notes and also jasmine and orange blossom heart notes. So these work together really well. And I feel like this could definitely become your signature scent. I think everyone has that sort of signature scent that they always tend to go for. And this could definitely be one of those. I feel like it's a very elegant oriental fragrance. It smells absolutely stunning. You could definitely wear it throughout the day. But I also feel like it'd be really nice for the colder months that we're approaching now. And for the evenings because it's just got that really strong signature scent. Lancome makes some absolutely gorgeous perfumes. I actually have another one in my lineup to tell you about but I feel like this one is so different from the rest that you could definitely wear this every day. It's quite a dainty elegant fragrance. It's not too much or overpowering but it's definitely enough to make an impact and I think this would be brilliant to wear during autumn winter. My next fragrance recommendation is this one and this is Prada Milano La Femme. I really love the bottle of this one. I think it looks so good with this like textured white detailing on the back. I feel like this is a very soft and feminine fragrance but it also has quite a strong floral scent of roses and jasmine but what really makes this ideal for autumn winter is the fact that it has a vanilla base note. And I don't know about you but vanilla for me makes me think of autumn and winter and Christmas and the cold months and just lighting a vanilla candle that kind of thing and this is what this fragrance reminds me of when I smell it. If you love to wear strong perfumes then this is ideal to wear throughout the day. I personally love the smell throughout the day especially when it's colder it does last I feel a bit longer. It's quite a bold fragrance but I don't think it's too heavy that it's too much for daily use. I actually kind of forgot about this perfume until I was looking through to find the perfect scents for this video. So when when I refound this one I was just like yes this this smell is perfect for this time of year. It's very bold, it's very feminine but that vanilla base note just runs through and really gives you that autumn winter feeling and I think this is going to be my new daily perfume for autumn winter. The next fragrance I have to share with you is actually very different from all of the others that I've mentioned and this is the Michael Kors White Luminous Gold. So like I say this is completely different to all of the other fragrances that I've mentioned. I feel like it's almost maybe a more mature fragrance but it's also very feminine and luxurious. I personally feel that this 
one would work better in the colder months because of the type of fragrance that it is. It's a very warm and oriental fragrance with a heart note of jasmine and a base note of amber. These work really well together and it gives you that really strong, powerful scent. You could definitely get away with wearing this throughout the day, but I personally think that I would rather go for a bit of a lighter scent and keep this one especially for evenings and special events. To me, this is one of those fragrances that just smell really expensive. I'm not entirely sure of the price, but I'll put all of the prices and links in the description box. So if you want to have a look at any of these, then make sure you check that out too. The notes of jasmine and amber really make me think of winter. And I think this fragrance would be perfect for winter in particular, just when it's a little bit colder. It's one of those fragrances that lasts a long time and you don't need much of this in one go because it is quite strong, but it will last you a long time. And it's ideal to wear in the colder months. Next up is my favorite bottle of all of these. In fact, probably my favorite bottle out of all of the perfumes I own. And this is the Carolina Herrera Good Girl. Can we just take a second to appreciate the bottle? I mean, it's in the shape of a stiletto and I've never seen anything like this before. It is insane. Just look how beautiful this bottle is. It is such a really creative and beautiful way of presenting a perfume. And I feel like this would look amazing on your dressing table as well. I keep all of my perfumes in a box to keep it out of the sunlight, but I almost feel like this is too good to keep out of sight because the bottle is just incredible. And even if it didn't have a perfume in, this on its own as like an ornament would just be the most incredible looking thing. So this is the next fragrance that I'm recommending for autumn winter. And this, like I say, is the Carolina Herrera Good Girl. So this fragrance then, it has heart notes of jasmine, which I feel like is a running theme throughout all of the ones I'm mentioning. But there's just something about that smell that just makes me think of autumn winter. But it also has base notes of tonka bean and cocoa, which is again, completely different to all of the other fragrances mentioned. But it gives it a bit of a musky smell, which is perfect for the winter months. I really love this perfume because it's a very deep, feminine and bold fragrance. And it's one that I would probably just wear in the evenings because it's a little bit too heavy for me to wear throughout the day. But I feel like even just by looking at the bottle, you can tell that it's gonna be more for an evening wear and for a night out sort of glam vibe. When you smell this, you just think luxury and that is exactly what it is. And all of the different notes combined in this perfume really work together well to create that bold, long lasting scent. And the longevity really does play a part when it comes to choosing which fragrance to wear at what time of year. Because the weather and the temperature outside can really affect how a fragrance smells and it can be such a different fragrance when it's warm to when it's cold and this one I feel is perfect for when it is cold because of the different notes that all come together but I'm just obsessed with the bottle of this one like I actually can't get over how beautiful it is and the fragrance is absolutely stunning inside to match so this is one of my favorite fragrances in general but also definitely a really good recommendation for autumn winter so my next perfume recommendation is another one by Lancome and this is their La Nuit Tresor I don't know if I'm saying that completely correctly but it is this one and this has been a personal favorite of mine for a long time it has top notes of raspberry, lychee and bergamot and also heart notes of frankincense and rose. But what makes this perfume ideal for autumn winter is that base note of vanilla. And that is something that runs along all of these different perfumes. There is a hint of vanilla in pretty much all of them. And like I said before, that vanilla note really just reminds me of autumn winter and being cozy when it's cold. And I feel like this fragrance really does that. This is also a bit of a woody, floral and oriental, also sometimes known as floriental fragrance. And it's definitely one that is perfect for autumn. It also has a very deep and mysterious scent which I think is ideal for this time of year when it's a little bit colder. For me, I tend to use this more in the evenings or for an event rather than throughout the day, but I feel like it really works its magic the most when it's a little bit colder, so autumn winter is ideal for this fragrance. My next fragrance recommendation is this one. This one is Deep Euphoria by Calvin Klein. This particular perfume has musky base notes, and as it dries, the musk brings a very smooth, rich, and warm fragrance, which I think makes it ideal for when it's cold. Personally, I think this is ideal for the evening because of how deep the scent is. But as with any of these, you could get away with wearing any of them throughout the day. It just depends on what you prefer. This one also smells kind of similar to this Lancome one. They must have very similar notes because they do smell quite similar. There is a difference, but you can also smell the similarities. The name Deep Euphoria also kind of reflects the fragrance within the bottle as well because it has quite a deep scent. And that is why I think it's better suited for evenings. It has a very long lasting smell and it's also a very bold and feminine fragrance. And the musky base notes are what sets this fragrance apart from any of the others that I wear throughout the rest of the year. And it's what makes this ideal for autumn winter. This is the first time I filmed this type of video, but I've really enjoyed talking about my favorite autumn winter fragrances. Let me know in the comments if you have any recommendations for perfumes I should try, or if you've tried any of those that I mentioned. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!